If you've done any research into the fiber laser market lately, you've probably noticed SFX Laser. They're the largest vendor of fiber lasers on Amazon and one of your only options if that's where you plan to shop. Knowing this, I had to get my hands on one as it's a name that comes up frequently in conversation in our various communities. I reached out and connected with Venus and a few weeks later I had a crate on the floor in my shop. It's been about nine months since it arrived and you guys know I've racked up some serious time with this machine, so I'd say we're ready for an in-depth review. Let's get into it. While I did receive this review unit from SFX Laser for free, I was not paid for a review, positive or otherwise, and the opinions shared in this video are completely my own. While I'm grateful you guys value my opinion, make sure to always do your own due diligence before deciding to make a laser purchase. The 60 watt M7 fiber laser by SFX looks about as generic as a fiber laser can look on its surface, and that's a shame because this highly polished and capable machine is anything but. Truly a no frills experience, this business class machine is a workhorse with all of the power, agility, and quality control serious operators are looking for to kickstart or augment their marking needs. They're now shipping with EasyCAD 2 boards for seamless compatibility with Lightburn and continue to be built from industry standard parts so it will be easy to service and repair for years to come. The sticker price of $7,999 may shock you when compared to similar imports, but when you consider shipping and import taxes are included in the price tag and the thing just shows up at your door, the value of being able to one-click order a high-end fiber laser off of Amazon and have it arrive in three to seven business days is an unmatched value in today's fiber laser world. I've had a fair bit of Galva lasers show up at my door and let me tell you that nothing is better when one shows up in the crate completely assembled. There's absolutely nothing you need to do out of the box to turn on the machine other than plug it in. Every single piece, part, and plate was completely covered in a thick layer of foam and plastic wrap to keep it safe on its journey to me, and while it takes a little while to unpack, it's absolutely worth it to have a machine that feels untouched emerge from the crate. In addition to the machine, most SFX lasers ship standard with a D80 rotary, as well as an accessories kit that contains everything you need to start marking right away. Included are a pair of fiber laser safety glasses, hex wrench set, foot pedal, jig bars, connectors, and power cables, as well as a USB stick with your copy of EasyCAD with all of the device settings and calibrations completed at the factory in advance. It took about 60 minutes to go from crate to marking, which isn't too bad at all considering the thoughtful packaging of the laser to protect it in transit. If you want a snazzy laser, this isn't the one for you. But if you can ignore its looks, this machine offers a ton of conveniences and high quality parts that will stand the test of time with heavy use. Its 100% aluminum construction is solid with tight tolerances that keep everything exactly where it needs to be even through maintenance and travel. The millimeter scale 50 centimeter tower uses standard mounts and spacing, which means upgrading to an 80 centimeter tower for fans of large field sizes is no issue. The manual focus assembly is responsive but snug, so your focus isn't going to drift while the machine is in use. The only thing I don't like about the chassis is their choice of red dot focus assist. For whatever reason, mine displays as a fan beam instead of a dot. Very unusual. To this day, I'm still not quite sure what to do with it. Maybe I just don't understand it, but even if it functions and I just don't get it, I'm not sure why this would be preferred over the standard two dot focus assist. One of my favorite things about this machine is actually the aluminum case. The front panel features a single keyed switch for the laser source power and an e-stop that functions as the on off switch for the rest of the machine. All of the switches are clicky and don't jostle around when they're being handled. The porting for heat ventilation is thoughtfully placed where it's actually needed on the unit instead of slapped wherever, which is common on lower end machines. Likewise, the vent ports are not stuffed full of unnecessary and, frankly, useless filters that block airflow. The fans are quiet and effective, and the laser stays nice and cool, even after hours of continuous use. 
The connection ports on the back of the machine are standard, but feature extra clip type mounts that lock the connections with a satisfying snap. A very nice addition so they won't get knocked out or loosen over time. The connecting cables themselves feature the thickest heavy duty rubber wires that are definitely primed for taking a beating. The included rotary is a chunky boy, but it's solid and comes with a snow whip motor which is a popular choice and well known for its quality. The SFX also ships with a Jolly Star lens which at first I thought was completely defective. I replaced it with a standard Cloudray F-Theta lens with no compatibility issues, but recently came back to the Jolly Star while preparing for this review. I couldn't imagine with everything else on this machine being so great it would ship with a terrible lens. And I was right. The Jolly Star lens is perfectly capable. It was just user error and I was too caught up in getting the machine working to realize it at the time. I have no problem with the lens and I'm glad the scan head and mount are compatible with industry standards without any special spacers or adapters other than the normal spacer that ships with most fiber lasers. Everything inside of the case is logically and thoughtfully assembled and there are some key factors that help it stand out against the competition. The first thing you spot when you open the case is the laser source and finally someone understands that the fiber optic cable should not be tightly coiled and jammed in the corner. SFX took the extra time to run the cable around the perimeter of the inside of the case to ensure its longevity, and I am ecstatic about it. All of the connections are snug, and the source is mounted to the center plate securely. As I mentioned earlier, the porting for the ventilation is specifically designed for this source, and the vents match up perfectly with the cooling fans on the laser source case. This unit packs a ton of juicy specs that will keep you satisfied when you start pushing the limits of what your machine is capable of. It features an easy CAD2 controller, which means seamless out-of-the-box support with Lightburn, a huge plus for those looking for a modern software experience. For those who are looking for a machine to meet their industrial or heavy manufacturing needs, SFX also offers EasyCAD 3 as an option. It also features the 60M7M-R laser source by JPT, so you'll be treated to a massive frequency range of 1 to 4,000 kHz and a pulse width range of 2 to 500 nanoseconds. Perfect for those looking to complete work quickly and efficiently, and great for operators looking to mark plastic or experiment with color marking on compatible materials. I got this unit before Lightburn for Galva was released, and so EasyCAD 3 was shipped with the machine. One thing that speaks volumes about the build here is how easy it was for me to downgrade this unit from EasyCAD 3 to an EasyCAD 2 board once news of Lightburn broke. I did it without having to trace any wires, and there's plenty of space for the controller on top of the center plate. Naturally, the controllers are 100% genuine BJJCZ. This machine also comes with the standard DM542 stepper driver for your rotary axis. Like the Snowit stepper motor, this driver is extremely popular and known for its quality. I'm equally impressed with the power supplies that came with the unit. The unit supplying power to the laser source is a genuine Meanwell LRS35048, which instills a ton of confidence that my expensive laser source is safe. The system also features an EMI filter to make sure we're delivering clean power to the power supplies, and the relays that are operated by the front plate switches are beefy and solid. A quick look inside the laser path reveals the 60M7M-R's beautiful emitter, as well as the beam expander housing, all of which is straight and locked down tight. While solid, everything is absolutely easily accessible, keeping with the expectation of easy maintenance if and when required. The manual focus Sino Galvo RC7110 Galvo Scanhead included standard offers accurate marking speeds up to 4,000 millimeters per second and max speeds up to 7,000 millimeters per second. It's rated to operate in temperatures ranging from zero to 45 degrees Celsius and its scale and drift factors while operating over long periods of time are so infinitesimally small that they're virtually zero. The RC7110 is again a no-frills economic workhorse that you can rely on to get the job done without the fuss of complex scan head gimmicks that get in the way while you're trying to work. One of the absolute best things about this unit is the source itself. Many people don't know this, but there are actually two models of the JPT60Watt M7. 
you have the full power 60 m7 m-r and the lower powered budget version the e60 m7 m-r the stats are nearly identical but there is one key difference the pulse output power the full power model comes in at a whopping 2 millijoules pulse power, where the budget E version sits at 1.5 millijoules per pulse. Don't get me wrong, 1.5 millijoules is great and still higher than what I would consider industry average, but the 2 millijoule pulse power that the full power model offers packs a serious punch. I bring this up because it's extremely common for vendors of the 60 watt M7 sources to include the budget model as it keeps the overall price of the machine down. Not here. Again, the SFX is a business class machine and that means you get the full power source with that sweet sweet 2 millijoules of pulse output power. You'll be completing projects faster, more efficiently, and you'll be able to seriously take advantage of the full frequency and pulse width range the 60 watt M7 has to offer. JPT offers some of the highest quality sources you can buy. Their long life, reliability, and consistency make them a go-to for serious operators looking for dependable equipment. The fact that they've opted to fit this unit with the 60 M7 M-R, one of their only units that can reach 2 millijoules of pulse output power, means that you're getting one of the absolute best of the best laser sources on the market today. Powering up the SFX 60 watt M7 is like driving a beater your whole life and then getting gifted a brand new sports car. For those who don't know, an adjustable pulse width on a MOPA laser is essentially a fine control dial on the power you're applying downrange. You can work at high frequencies with little power loss or low frequencies with super high pulse widths to absolutely obliterate material. The high pulse power of 2 millijoules only aids you along the way, enabling you to cut through metal like millimeter thick aluminum and steel without much thought. In an instant, a massive range of plastics that were completely out of reach are now on the table. Deep engraving jobs that used to take 30 minutes now take 10, and you can finally start experimenting with that color marking. The hardware is not novel, or loaded with gimmicks, and when combined with an EasyCAD 2 board and light burn, the unit stays completely out of your way, so you can focus on work instead of operation. Everything came set from the factory out of the box, and very few minor adjustments were needed to get things dialed in where I like them. If you're a new user, this is very likely a plug and play experience. Everything just works here, guys, whether it's the rotary, the red dot, the source, the power supplies, the cooling fans, or the focusing tower. Everything just works. Well, except for that weird focus assist laser. And in the extremely rare case where something doesn't work, the machine is an absolute no-brainer to open up and take care of repairs and replacements. On top of that, you're backed by a two-year warranty after purchase and a team of customer service agents and techs that have been delightful to speak with over the last nine months despite the language barrier. While these SFX machines can feel quite expensive, your money is going quite a long way. You're paying for the hardware, sure, but you're getting an excellent team of people and a great warranty backing this laser. You're getting shipping in days instead of weeks or months from US Amazon stock. You're getting excellent quality control and a machine that comes calibrated, ready to run your choice of EasyCAD or Lightburn out of the box. That's a pretty sweet package. The headache saved by shipping and import taxes being included in the sticker price alone is a huge stress and time savings. With all that considered, I'd say the SFX's offerings, and especially this unit, are a great value for the asking price. SFX is a brand I'm absolutely thrilled to have featured on our YouTube channel. Its generic looks are very deceiving, because under the every laser outer shell lie quality components and QA that makes a massive difference in the end product. Things are changing in our industry as companies do their best to stand out with proprietary hardware and software. Its use of industry standard parts on the chassis and components on the internals means that you're in control of your machine's maintenance in a way that's becoming more rare by the day. The Full Power 60 M7 M-R by JPT is a legendary source that offers enough power to do just about anything you could think of, and the reliable and classic RC7110 from Sino Galvo is a workhorse you can depend on for stability and accuracy. 
No gimmicks or frills means that the machine stays out of your way so you can work and express your creativity and it's easier than ever now thanks to the inclusion of the EasyCAD 2 controller and instant compatibility with Lightburn for Galvo. The excellent support staff, two-year warranty, Amazon shipping, and inclusion of import taxes in the final sticker price of $7,999 make the SFX 60 watt M7 an absolute steal in my mind. And that's why we feel like it deserves a 9.2 out of 10. Excellent on all counts and a machine that comes highly recommended by Laser Everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Laser Everything. I really hope you got some value out of it. If you're interested in picking up one of these lasers, of course, there is a link down in the description for you. And if you got value out of it, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time we upload a video. We are a viewer supported channel. And if you want to help support the channel and everything we do here at Laser Everything, please go check out the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel. We've got a bunch of extra bonus goodies over there, like bonus episodes of the podcast, bonus live streams, and a whole bunch of other stuff, including the new Laser Director's Cuts, which are just extended versions of the Laser episodes where you guys can learn how to actually pull off the stuff that we are doing in the video. So if you want to check out any of that kind of bonus content and you want to support the channel go check it out it's over at masters.lasereverything.net i had a blast making this video the sfx has been such a powerhouse for me and i'm just really glad that i had the opportunity to share this review with you i really really hope you enjoyed it too and that's all i've got so thank you so much for watching this episode again and we will see you in the next one